elementary school K-4. And we'll show you where that, might, where that may be. Uh, we also talked about middle school. Uh, there seems, there's a strong sentiment uh, to move our fifth graders even further away from our sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Um, you know, with our middle school, uh, we're two students away from capacity there. So um, again, if, if you look at expanded classrooms, if you can move the fifth grade uh, to another part uh, on site, uh, then that creates classrooms for some of those other programs like special education, EL, and uh, some of your elective courses. Uh, and then high school additions, uh, this building is built to add on, so we can add uh, up to 16 classrooms on the north side of this building real easily. Um, but when, when you talk about the high school, you're talking about program needs. You're not talking about capacity. You're talking about the need to expand, you know, like the healthcare pathway, which is in a small room right over here. That's supposed to be for probably culinary arts. Uh, but it would be uh, some larger rooms to do some of those things. And we have, we have call, we're teaching college classes out of the high school. That'd be another example of classroom space uh, where we're using a, a room back behind. Uh, in fact, I think Ms. Beecher's teaching out that room uh, behind the counselor's office. So uh, there's, just, there's just a need uh, because we are expanding our, 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 uh, our opportunities for high school. And then of course, alternative education. That's option one. Option two, uh, we move their fifth graders back to the elementary. Okay. That was one of the options that were brought up by that group. Uh, if we do that, then I've got to add classrooms onto our, every one of our elementary schools because I'm going to push 250 students back to the elementary. So the difference between those two options up there, up there is I build a fifth grade wing at the middle school for, for that fifth grade class, or I move them all, or I build a, an elementary school and then I move 250 fifth graders back to the elementary and then I have to add on to each school. So that's, that's kind of the difference between those two options. Um, and in middle school, we wouldn't do anything. Okay, if we moved them back, moved the fifth grade back, there's no reason to do any construction work or any expansion there because we're gonna create classroom space and move the fifth grade back. Option three, fifth grade stays at middle school, but there's no new elementary school. We're gonna to have to, because of our programs we talked about with our special education, our EL programs, we're gonna still have to add some classrooms back in those buildings because at North Park, um, I know EL is in the former book closet, a book storage. Uh, we're also using some other storage room areas to, to serve as kids. And that's, that's not equitable. That's not equitable when we start talking about trying to meet the needs of all our students. On all these plans, uh, there's a plot in the kitchen and a cafeteria. Um, <coughs> West Park and Emerson right now and North Park, they serve lunch in their gyms. So while they're serving lunch in the gymnasiums, they can't have health and PE in, in those areas. So it makes it real hard to, 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 to make the schedule work and move kids around uh, throughout, the, throughout the building. Um, I, I would tell you that if, at West Park and Emerson, um, you'd probably turn the current cafeteria, I mean, I'm sorry, the current gym into a cafeteria space and expand the kitchens and you'd build another gymnasium off the side of it. Uh, a more appropriate sized gymnasium, because they're, they're small gyms, they're really small gyms, you can't get a lot of students in, inside those gyms. Uh, the kitchens are already there, we would, just, we would just expand those kitchens to meet the needs. And uh, Centennial, we'd have a bigger eating area, middle school, a bigger eating area. Uh, so I think Centennial, if I, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we start serving lunch at 10.15 or 10.30. I think it's done almost at one o'clock because there's just not that space. Kids are in there about every 20 minutes uh, eating lunch. So we'd be able to feed more students and get them back into the classroom uh, uh, for academic purposes. 